Good morning. Hi. Thanks for stopping back out at the ranch. I'm Marie and this is Red Heart Quilts. Today I'm going to show you a series of quilts that I have. They're called Quilt As You Sew. If you go on the website, Red Heart Quilts, and you click on patterns, you'll see this series. It's a series of five different ones and I'll show you all five. Um, I came up with this because I wanted an easy way to quilt as you sew so that when my blocks were done, my quilt was done. And now that I have a long arm, I don't use this as often, but I still like to go back and use it because it's fun. Um, you're going to start by, of course, pressing your fabric. The patterns tell you how much fabric you're going to need for the different sizes. Um, you always press your fabric so you can get good straight cuts. You cut out your squares. And then you're going to mark one inch on the inside of all four sides. You'll see that I've done this with a Sharpie. Of course, you don't really want to use a Sharpie because you would see it through your fabric. You want to use a water soluble pen is probably the best thing to do because we know that when we wash our quilt, it will no longer be there. You can use disappearing ink if you want. You just need to fold it really fast. Okay, so once we get that marked, we're going to press it. We're going to go up one time to the line, press it, of course, with an iron, and then fold it up again. We're going to do that on all four sides till we have it that looks like this. Our line is still there. That line is very important. This will be our reference line for putting this whole quilt together. I like to use my batting is flannel in this one. It's nice and light and living in Florida, it's not too hot for being under a quilt. Your batting is just a smidge smaller than inside those lines because nothing is allowed to go outside of our lines. We're going to put our, ba our batting right inside the line. See how that cannot go there? It's not allowed. Um, then we're going to start making our different quilts. Like I said, there's a series of five. It goes from just a simple square that you can quilt, you know, cross hatch, do it more if you have those beautiful embroidery machines and you want to put a nice embroidery picture in the square, that's fine too. We have simple strips. I'm going to show you a few of them and then I will show you how to finish putting them together. This is the one we call basic blocks. It's just a whole block inside of a block. The backing comes to the front and becomes your sashing. Very basic, basic blocks. The next one is called simple strips. It's just a series of strips sewn inside those blocks. And again, your backing comes to the front and your sashing. Simple strips again. Simple strips. Yes, I'm throwing them right on the floor and we'll have to pick those up later. Um, some people wonder what I'm doing. I have a table back here to help me. This is another simple strips. I did the patriotic and then I wanted a little star. So you can add anything you want. It's your quilts and your table runners. This one is um, of one of my favorites. It's called mosaic, mini mosaic. I have a big pattern called mosaic. This one is out of batiks, which is beautiful. You can use up scraps with this. You can cut up fat quarters. You can get yardage. It's very easy um, to use the fabric. This is just a hodgepodge of leftover um, um, fabrics. This one is mini mosaic, but you'll see that the back is all different colors. I love the back just as much as I love the front. See how the color from the back comes to the front and becomes my sashing. So on this one, because the backing squares are all different, I have different color sashing, which I think is so much fun. The next one, this is also mosaic, same color, a different color backing. The next one is called bullseye. Is this sweet? It's um, Christmas metallics with the red in the center. So everything comes towards that bullseye. This one is also bullseye. This is one of my favorites just because I adore this fabric and I love a piece of orange in my quilts. Um, bullseye. Next one is called Blue Moon. I didn't know what to name this one when I was working on it. I couldn't think of a name. Usually the name just comes to me. 
but it was a blue moon that night, so I decided to call it Blue Moon. That's where it's got its name. This one's also Blue Moon. You'll notice this is just one seam in this block. That's the whole putting together. You sew one seam. It's a nice curve to put together. There's full-size templates. Anytime you need a template in the little pattern booklets, it's a full-size template. So back to the construction. We already know that we fold up our edges, put our batting inside there. This is the template for Blue Moon. This is the template for Mosaic. Stack up your fabrics for Mosaic all the same direction before you start cutting them. And these patterns walk you step by step through all the different ones. This is just an overview of all five of them. Once you have your pieces done and you have inside whatever one you're going to put inside we want to sew these blocks together because we already pressed our edges on our blocks they're nice and pressed so we've already quilted in here we take our block we pin it together right on that line if you pin it on one side it's going to come on the other side and you're going to sew right down this line that line, remember, is very important. That's our reference line and that's our stitching line. Nothing's allowed past our line because we don't want batting inside our sashing. Once we have that um, pressed and once we have that inside there and all the pieces sewn, we're going to sew our sashing down. Then we're going to come back when our row is together and sew the sashing down here. What happens when we're done with our blocks, our binding is now pressed and ready to sew. So all we have to do is sew around the edge and our binding's done too. Again, I'm gonna show you, um, I'll show you this one that I had pick up off the floor. That's for what I get for throwing them down there. See how the binding is finished on this? You'll notice now we put our rows together. We sewed down the sashing between our blocks then we sew the sashing between our rows. So if you have it really long, you're sewing this all at one time. Then our binding is already pressed. We stitch it down. Our quilt is done. It's quilt as you sew. Very quick and fast and fun. Have fun with your backs. Um, thank you. Don't forget to visit our website, redheartquilts.com. Also, if you would, like my Facebook page. We're working on that. This is all very new to us and you can please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're working on great tutorials, a lot of how to's, why to's, and I'm gonna be doing a series called Block of the Month Back to Basics. Till next time, see you back at the ranch. Thank you.